Hello and welcome to another Filter Grade tutorial. My name is Layton, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use keyboard shortcuts in Premiere to speed up your workflow and make it for a better editing experience. So before I actually get started here, I just wanna mention that I am using a Mac. The only real substitution for these keyboard shortcuts is whenever I use Command on the Mac. It just means Control on a PC. Everything else is the exact same as far as the keystrokes go. All right, so I'm gonna be covering a wide range of shortcuts for what I found to be the most helpful. However, there's many types of videos, and with those types of videos comes different editing practices and techniques. A lot of these shortcuts may not be relevant to you or what types of video you're making, but hopefully you learn something new here, pick up a new shortcut and edit that much faster. So if you don't already use any keyboard shortcuts when editing in Premiere, I'm about to change your life. So what keyboard shortcuts do are essentially in one or two button clicks on the keyboard, it does the exact same thing as maybe a three step process with the mouse. That could be done with one simple click on the keyboard, speeding things up and also making sure you don't have to do as much work, making you more tired, more annoyed and your drive to edit just slowly goes down. So if you wanna see a big list of all the keyboard shortcuts, you can actually go up to the top where it says Premiere Pro and go right here to keyboard shortcuts or you can hit Option Command K or Control Option K. And this brings up all your current keyboard shortcut settings. Now I'm just using the default as you can see here and I'll be going over these tools as default and I'll be showing you how to actually customize these in a future video. So instead of reading this all and going through it, I'm just gonna show you real quick. As I mentioned before, certain types of videos and styles may require different types of shortcuts. For me personally, I use VC, a delete space those would be my favorite and most used keys whenever i hit v on the keyboard it just brings me back to this tool which is a selection tool if you ever get lost and your mouse turns into something like this or something like this you always hit v and it goes back to the regular selection tool my second most used keyboard shortcut would be c this is the eraser tool as i showed before that lets you cut clips trim them down pretty straightforward the next one i do like to use a lot and this again depends on the type of video you're editing as well as your different style the keyboard shortcut A is track selection before and after. If you hit shift, it's before. If you hit regular A, it's after. So this brings up these two arrows. This means that I can click on a clip or a section of my timeline and everything to the right of it, I can move forward or backward. This is great if you have a ton of clips and you just wanna move everything over and insert another clip, or you just wanna move large amounts of content without actually just highlight clicking and dragging because sometimes you've got small little clips in there, you can't quite get them. It's time consuming making sure you have all those different clips selected. So again, you can click V to take you back to the selector tool. The next one is pretty obvious. I think everyone knows about this one, spacebar. Just plays and pauses the video. The next one is delete. If you have a clip that you wanna get rid of, just simply click delete and it's gone. And with that, there's another faster method. Again, depending on what type of video you're editing, if you're just wanting to cut a clip and delete it and put something else in there, or if you wanna actually drag this whole timeline over, you can skip a couple steps. So what you can do is using the razor tool, cut your clip, select this clip and hold down option and hit delete. And what this does is going to delete that video clip that you selected and then bring down everything to the right of that clip to snap into the timeline. So this is a great feature. It speeds up an extra step of you deleting and then dragging all the clips down to fit with the rest of the timeline. And to be even faster than that, hitting the Q key also does ripple delete without you selecting or cutting. So wherever your playhead is at the time, if you hit Q, it's going to delete whatever is to the left of the playhead and it's gonna bring everything to the right down and snap in with the rest of the clips. So I move my playhead to the specific spot, I press Q, deleted that little section and brought all my clips to the right, down to the left, and now there's no gap, plays seamlessly. And another very important keyboard shortcut is Command or Control Z. I'm sure many people are familiar with this as this keyboard shortcut is used on many different programs. This shortcut undoes whatever your last action was. So say I didn't actually wanna ripple delete that, I just gotta hit Command Z and there we go, it's back to normal. If you want to redo or jump back and forth with before and afters, if you hit command shift then Z, it'll redo what you just did, making for a quick and easy way if you actually liked what you did or you didn't like what you did or like I said, you want to compare before and after. Now these next couple shortcuts are to set in and out points. So when you double click on the preview screen here, if you hit spacebar, play it out, you press the I key, that sets the in point for the video clip and if you hit the O key, that sets the out point. So that way you don't have to drag the entire clip into the timeline and then cut from there. You can just click I and O, click on the actual video and drag it into place. If I undo that, you can actually select just the video or just the audio from what you set in and out. This is helpful if you have a clip that doesn't really need audio or if you don't want the video, clicking the film strip or the audio waveform and dragging that into the timeline 
we'll do that for you. And the next keyboard shortcut is probably one of the most important ones. If you're not already familiar with Command S or Control S, you need to be. This is going to save your life in so many situations. I myself have had experience when the program crashes and you don't have anything saved, you lose all that work that you've done. So whenever I can, I try to hit Command S. Whenever I have a spare second, or if I do a lot of rigorous masking or really any action I do, I try to hit Command S every once in a while just to save my project. The next one I want to go over is a tool I find myself using a lot. It's the retiming tool. So whenever you click R on your keyboard, it comes up with this little icon where you click on the edges of your video. If you click and drag to the right, you're going to stretch out the clip by slowing it down. As you can see here, 29.33%. In the same way, if I click and I go to the left, I can actually speed it up. This is helpful if you're doing speed ramps, if you're doing slow-mo shots where you don't need to actually put in a specific value in the retime editor. Also, if you have gaps in your clips and you don't really want to extend any of these videos any further, you can just hit the R and stretch your video maybe 2% just like this, making it barely visible and making for a much more clean and seamless edit. The next keyboard shortcut I want to talk about is the marker or the M key. So what this does is drop this little green arrow on top of your timeline. And if you have a clip selected and you press M, it's going to set a marker on that specific clip. This is helpful if you're just trying to remember something or kind of leave a note for yourself as a reminder. I find myself using it to highlight the downbeat for background music so I can cut my clips in sync with the music. Sometimes it's hard to see and hear. What I do is I'll start the playhead just before I need to make a cut, play it, find the beat, and I'll tap the M key on every downbeat. Now I can actually use the razor tool and it will help snap to that spot. I can make the cut and delete this so it perfectly syncs up with my music. Another helpful keyboard shortcut is the plus and minus keys at the top. What this does is zooms in and out of your timeline. Not everyone is using a trackpad and can pinch and zoom in and out. It's a quicker and more finite way of zooming in and out of your timeline. And the next series of keyboard shortcuts are the arrow keys, left, up, down, and right. So if you go left, it goes frame by frame to the left, and if you go right, it goes frame by frame to the right. And if you press the up arrow, it'll jump backwards to each clip break. So as you can see, it goes back to the audio here. And if I press down, it does the opposite where it goes forward. This is a fast way of going through your timeline without zooming out, scrolling, moving your playhead and selecting. And same with a frame by frame. If you want to make a very specific cut, you can go frame by frame. You can just click the arrows left and right, find that spot and make your cut. And another great time saving shortcut is holding option. And as you click and drag a clip, what this does is copies that clip and you can drag it wherever it's a lot faster and it gives you more control over where your clip is going to be as opposed to copy and pasting your pasted clip does not always go where you want it to be this is great if you have a lot of transitions or if you have audio effects that you want to duplicate and quickly move around with that being said if you don't already know command c copies and then you can move your playhead and hit command v and that will paste the clip in the timeline but like i said one of the advantages to the option click and drag you can control it whereas if i want to paste my clip on top of this layer i hit command v it'll be placed right into that first video track interrupting my current clip option click i can move and i can drag it right on top like i wanted and maybe mask some stuff out here now these next two shortcuts work well with the i and the o which is the comma and the period button so once you have your clip up here on the preview screen highlighted with your in and out points, you can actually just hit the period button to drop that clip into your timeline. Now when you hit period, that's gonna overwrite whatever you had there, meaning that it's gonna throw that clip on top of the clip that's already in your timeline. But if you want to put it somewhere in between these two clips, if you hit the comma button, that's gonna place your clip in the timeline without disturbing anything else, just moving everything down. So it really depends on what you wanna do with your clip here. Pairing I and O and the comma and period button makes it super fast to accurately import video into your timeline. So there you have it, those are a bunch of keyboard shortcuts in Premiere that I have found very useful over my years of editing. Now there's tons more and I would highly recommend hitting Command Option K and that brings up all your keyboard shortcuts. Learn which ones work for you. I hope you find this video very helpful and you go back to editing, feeling much better, working much faster, and pumping out your edits at ridiculous speeds. And as always, for the best Photoshop actions, Lightroom presets, Capture One styles, and video LUTs, check out FilterGrade.com.